podcast. Thank you so much for coming back and joining us. 21 episodes. We're, we're racking them up fast, Heather. We're like, racking them up. Before yeah. you know it, it's going to be 100. I know. I've heard it oh through podcasts that I watch and listen to. Yeah. That you don't really get the hang of what you're doing until about podcast number 60. Yeah. And it doesn't actually start getting good until podcast number yeah. 100. So right now we suck. <laughs> no, but we'll be better. There. We learn no, to no. be better. We're living by our life motto yeah. of being better. Um, so we're constantly working on it. As always, we love hearing from you guys and what you want to hear about. Uh, so it's not just us coming up with yeah. things and talking. Um, but today we're talking about something a little bit different. We promise we'll get to a point eventually. Um, so we'll start with question of the week. So this week's question of the week is what are you a fan of? Okay, so I, 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 um, I'm going to take it away. Yeah. I'm going to steal it. And uh, I'm going to keep going even if you try to yep. talk over me, just yep. so you know. Because yep. uh, I'm, I'm passionate about the NFL, of course. So of course. NFL season is starting, preseason games are on now, I'm loving it. I watched a few games over the weekend. Right, it's Great like times. good weekend um, thing, my friend. Good weekend, yeah. good weekend. But um, yeah, NFL, of course, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Um, I really like the Green Bay Packers. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, mm -hmm. no one hates me. Any Chicago Bears fans who, <laughs> who watch this podcast, um, but you know, it's something that I got into actually from playing Xbox. Really? Uh, so Madden was what got me into the NFL. Right. Um, the game, of course, and it was on Xbox 360 that mm, I got into it. So like the delightful Halo one up above. Yeah, us. it was um, Madden 20 2008. That got wow. me into it. So ten years ago, mate. Ten How years. Oh my you? lord! I That's did not crazy. Think yeah, about like that. when yeah. you when you realise you're an adult, yeah, is when you say you can remember something from ten years ago. You're just like, wow, oh, I'm yeah. growing up. But yeah, so ten yeah, years so ago, ten years ago, you started getting into the NFL Absolutely. thanks to men. That's awesome. So that that was really cool. Um, and like yeah, so I'm I'm right into it now. I've got Packers gear. Hannah got me a Packers beanie um, when she went to Canada. Because um, I've never been to the US and it's mm -hmm. very hard to get gear in little old New Zealand. Yes. But yes. Um, I think, you know, playing it on Xbox led me to watching it um, and led me to reading about it, listening to podcasts. It yep. now kind of like permeates through my day to day life, which is really cool. It really does. Um, yes. But it's kind of funny <laughs> how it's also tied back into what we do now. So. Yep. Obviously, Surface is, or oh, Microsoft in general, is a sponsor of the, mm. the NFL. So you'll see people with surfaces on the sideline. Um, you see them everywhere. If you yep. watch NFL films on um, TV or on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, they always crack out a Surface um, as well, which is awesome. Um, and it's led a lot of players in the NFL to become fans of, of just Microsoft in general. So Absolutely. We've, we have talked about it a little bit before, but if you go on to um, some of the Microsoft YouTube pages, you'll actually see there's a whole playlist of NFL mm, um, videos and how yeah. NFL stars use it, um, whether it's for charities um, or, or all sorts. So mm. it's really cool to go back and watch that and watch people like uh, Russell Wilson, the quarterback of the Seattle mm, Seahawks. Um, right, okay, thanks he's, for filling no me worries. on it. I was just like, oh yeah, Russell, well, Russell, Russell. Russell Wilson, yeah. he's, he's uh, uh, quite a, a famous quarterback. Um, mm. He has a charity, um, and I was watching a video on everything he does, and he's got a, a Surface Studio in his office. Wow, okay. So that's, that's pretty cool yeah. to, to see that they've gone beyond just using you know the pros and stuff yeah, like out that out on the field that that's yeah, yeah permeating throughout everything they do and how they use it absolutely nice. and there's um there's another i think it's um sorry if i get this wrong but i think it's greg olsen who's a uh, uh carolina panthers tight end I see. so he catches the ball for people mm. who don't know right thank um you. <laughs> he's, he's a big guy who does that um he has a son who had a heart problem Right, um, yes, so, I have heard about this. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. He, they actually used Surface um, and the charity that he runs to develop an app mm. so that his son and other kids with similar issues yeah. can actually um, plan out their, their days. They mm. can get all the medical um, knowledge that they need sent to their yeah. Surface so yeah. that he can get more time with his son at home so his son's not constantly having to go to hospital. Yeah, um, so it's, it's very powerful how it's gone beyond something that they're just using on the field to something that they've become fans mm. on and they use everywhere. So 
there's so many videos there's like 28 videos and mm. all big names like uh richard sherman and and all sorts so um hannah's just like yes yes, yes. that guy but that guy yeah i think that's and really cool and just like that cycle xbox love nfl microsoft sponsors nfl Surface. Surface. See, and that's, yeah. that's literally what I was just going to say is that's so interesting how mm. it comes from one simple question yeah. to all of that stuff. And that's what I think this is so important about and why we want to talk about it is when you're a fan of something, it just instantly changes the way you talk about yeah. it, right? And like, I know this sounds a little bit like spiritual and philosophical and stuff. But I genuinely believe that like every person has something in common. Yeah, 100%. And it's way more exciting to talk about something with someone that both of you are passionate about yeah. and like talk about the weather or the traffic on the way to work. Absolutely. Um, people in Auckland are very passionate about those topics. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it's one of those things. So for example, I'm a massive fan of music. Yeah. Um, that was what I did for four years. I studied, um, I go to lots of gigs and stuff now to kind of keep myself in the loop. But that was where my love for surface started coming into things as well. Yeah. Um, which has now obviously taken over a very large part of my life. So five years ago, I was at uni and I first got this job promoting the Surface Pro 2 um, here oh in New Zealand Lord. in stores. I'm going to steal that from have, a, have a look. Yeah. Do, a, do a little oh, research, mate. Just a look at that kickstand. That's always yeah. what I go to on this thing. Yeah, so it's just crazy how far we've come in five years, which sounds like a long period of time if you're like a five-year-old, but really, like, it's not much at all. So I was at uni at the time, I was studying music, beautifully showing that off, Fletch. I'll continue talking yeah. to you. Look at it go. Like, oh, Do you hear dude. that? Do you hear that on the camera? <laughs> That's the clicking of the different positions. Yeah, amazing. So, yeah, I started, I was studying music and basically, um, you know, it was said to me, Hannah, if you, if you take this seriously, you should get a MacBook Pro. Yeah. And absolutely not putting that device down, but it was just very much the mentality of the people that I was with. And I sat in a room full of like Apple devices for four years. Um, and I was rocking my Surface, so I was bringing it to uni every day. And I really started using the pen and ink functionality of it. I was one of those people that used to print stuff off all the time to yeah. highlight things. Um, when I was writing music, I preferred to do it by hand and then input it. Um, like I'd play something and then I'd write it down. That was very much the way that I worked. And so by having a Surface in my life, that technology allowed me to work smarter, not harder. It worked with me, not against me. And I found it really interesting. All of these people um, asking me like, Hannah, what are you doing? Like, yeah. why are you writing on the screen? Why don't you bring a notebook anymore? Um, how have you shared this file with me? It's by something called SkyDrive. SkyDrive, oh my lord. Yeah. Um, but it then obviously became OneDrive. Uh, but that was something, and I found myself, like people would ask me, and I'd just go into work mode. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, it's this application called OneNote, this is how you use the pen. And I definitely, you know, I have, I have a work voice. Um, some of you, if you've met me in person, you may notice that when I'm chatting about certain things, I go off and I talk a little bit differently. But generally, you know, I just whipped out my work voice and I was going on about all the functionalities and yeah. capabilities of the pen, how I used it, what I used. I use OneNote a lot. I use StaffPad, which is an excellent notation software um, application exclusive to Surface and the Windows Store. Um, and really going in depth with that. And I just was like halfway through like a full blown like this is how you use it, yeah. this is how amazing the surface pen is, blah blah blah. Oh, and I just like stopped myself, I was like, these people probably don't care about this. <laughs> like, you know, what are you doing? Like you've yeah. just gone into work mode in your day to day life, like you're telling people you're singing the greatness of surface, but everyone was like, No, like keep going this is amazing yeah. like this is something i haven't heard of before and i think that that was really like a time in my life where i realized how empowering yeah. technology is of course that's microsoft's mission mission statement sorry yeah. to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more and i very much find that this is a product family that yeah. allows us to do that right absolutely and can i i just want to keep going i know yeah? that we're we're just talking about this but um it's very similar um to me, when I'm listening to podcasts mm. uh, about football in general, a lot of the um, podcasts that talk about NFL, of course, talk about college football. Yeah. Because that's how people progress into the NFL in the States. Yeah. Um, and some of the coaches who who go on and do interviews from the college, the, they talk about, oh, we need our guys to use pen and papers. They, they can't mm. bring stuff in any, uh, like, computers into... The, the different sessions anymore and uh, we've we've started wheeling out the old whiteboards and stuff 
and like I just want to scream. I'm like, yeah. why don't you yeah. get get them all on surfaces? They can not only you know draw the different routes they run, but then yeah. they can use ink replay and stuff like that to replay it all. Absolutely. And why why use a whiteboard where you have to scribble things out? Use a um, a surface hub. Yeah. And use the whiteboard on there. Again, you can it's do It's exactly all sorts. the same as an old school yeah. whiteboard, and then you can just email that out to the students. You can email them out. You can shift the whiteboard so you can yeah. get new space and still keep the other play you're working yeah. on. Then you can email it out, or you could just, you know, um, connect a computer to it, a surface, yeah. and then do oh. the same thing. Have a PowerPoint. Yeah, absolutely. Have 20 and different slides open. These yeah. are the plays you need to learn this time. I just, yeah, I, I want to scream and shout every yeah. time that happens. I'm like, There's a they can way. still write down, Life's they can not still learn. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, and yeah, I just, just wanted to share that, you know, I needed yeah, to get it I off think, my chest. I think as you can tell by the mm. way that we're talking, we are such fans of these products. Yeah. And just how they've revolutionised the way we do things. Mm. I know very much in line with that NFL story, um, Gia Lynch, one of our master trainers over yep. in Ireland, you met him in our Shanghai podcast a while ago, maybe you'll get to see him again soon, <laughs> who knows. Um, but I know that he really fell in love with surfers because he was a football player, so we yeah. saw videos on the way that NFL was using it. Soccer, soccer football, not... Um, soccer gonna, football, yes. Yeah, soccer football, I'm so not sorry, Gia. I can just, if he watches yeah. this, I can see him being at home being like... Yeah, I'm just gonna. But yeah, gonna just say that. we're talking yeah. about the two footballs yeah. here. Um, but yeah, so that was the way yeah. that he used it, and he started bringing that into his life um, and using that in his way. So I think that yeah. it's really powerful when you know when you have a job where you can relate so much into your personal life, yeah. and that's what I love about doing these podcasts and doing my job. Yeah, um, is being able to talk about this technology and how it's revolutionised the way we do. Um, I'm wearing yeah. you can't quite see on camera, but a do, do great, great things. things. T-shirt, this is three years old. I put it on this yeah. morning and I'm just like, Hannah, sometimes you look after your things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But do great things with the tagline that we put out with Windows 10 when that came out three years ago. Um, and just blows my mind yeah. every time to think about it and that time how we've gone from strength to strength in our product family. Yeah, absolutely. And like, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep, keep coming up with new things, but mm. um, like you said, everyone in the world has something in common with someone else absolutely or whoever you're talking to and the fact that as we've been talking and obviously we're passionate about every mm. single thing we're talking about mm. and we've brought Jer, um, Jer, Jer, Jer. Jer into the conversation sorry mate gotcha, <laughs> don't hate me um, but you know that's something that we could have in common to talk about and how he utilizes that how I absolutely. think it could be utilized you know um, going back even to things like Xbox and stuff mm. really everyone really does and as soon as you find that you get into conversations like now where we're mm. like just want to keep talking we want to keep talking Absolutely. and keep saying things so very very powerful all right so we have been talking about being fans of products and we've started to relate it more to what we're actually yeah. talking about on this podcast but we really want to talk about how being fans of a product have grown our product ranges at Microsoft. Yeah, how so, the, the products have adapted to people becoming fans as well. Absolutely, yeah. and like for example, that means that there are customers out there who have bought a Surface Pro, a Surface Pro 2, yeah. a Surface Pro 3, a Pro 4, and now the new Pro, which I have here, oh, sorry. if you could help us no, out. No, no, like, getting just look at, down. Look at these, like look at the difference between those. And this is, like this is five years of technology developing, evolving. Off you go. Yeah, I'm Take just gonna do it. Take it away, my friend. Look at look um, at the difference in that if thickness. If we had a full crew, you know, we could do some zooms and all that. But we're yeah. two people with, sitting in our office, um, doing what we can. <laughs> look how far that goes back now. In comparison, like ah, and just amazing, amazing at how that usability has changed. Um, so I remember when I first started selling these Surface products. People just genuinely didn't believe me, right? And we talked yeah. about this on our first ever podcast, um, celebrating five years of Surface. Um, and we talked about, you know, the fact that it had an i7 processor and that slim form factor. That was just unheard of at yeah. that point in time, right? Which is just crazy. Um, you know, and I'd tell people about it, I'd show them it, and they're just like, that's a tablet. There's no way. Yeah. But it's a tablet that can replace your laptop. And that's something that Microsoft have always grown with. Um, do you know how many points of pressure the pen had? It was 256? Yeah, yeah. 256 points of pressure. And yeah. I remember being mind blown and thinking <laughs> that was amazing. 
What are we up to now, oh, Bleach? 4,096. Amazing. Like so this, crazy. Like this little thing is so powerful. It's got that tilt yeah. technology. This always had palm block, which I think is really cool. Yeah, that, that um, is really cool. Coming from five it. years ago. But I mean, we've got things like Windows Hello, where I can now log in with my face. So we've gone from that, um, seeing things like the kickstand be improved. Um, that is the Pro 2, so it originally was just one. Yeah. And now it went to two. And, and then it went further back with the Pro 3, even further back with the Pro 4, and now we're right down uh, with those improved hinges on the new Pro to really focus um, mm. on durability. I know um, with the Pro 4 they were plastic, and there were some cases of breakages, not many, but some if you were a kickstand fiend yeah. using that functionality all the time. Um, really focusing on those small things that they've changed over time. And um, I know you can't see it on camera, but just the weight. Oh, like, it's yeah. It's huge. Like, yeah. this feels so heavy like at the time when it was out it was super light yeah it was ridiculous but, um, right? just before we started filming i was playing around with one of our surface go demo units mm -hmm. that we're lucky enough to have now and i picked it up and insane i still get a shock at how light it is like yeah. we've been handling it for the last week because we've been doing trainings yeah. and conferences yeah and like picking that up after having just played with this for a second i was like what? What? Because this is like the surface yeah, go that's is insane. smaller, but that's the really screen crazy. size is very similar. Look like, at that. That's I would say that's almost that's, twice as that's, thick. That's, yeah. Like that's, that's just wild. Oh man. Because <laughs> oh, this, is, this, this is a sixty-four gig unit. Yeah. As well. So look at that. How far we've come, guys? It's almost a third. Come. And, and continuing that, we started started at the bottom, now we're here, um, <laughs> sorry, um, but you know, I very much think, and the, the reason this, this happened was that there was a gap in the market, right? Yeah. And people were buying five different devices to suit all their needs, you'd have a tablet, you'd have a laptop, you'd have a desktop. Surface was a product that could do everything, thanks to the dock, you can, you know, Absolutely. have that replaceable thing, keyboard connoisseur. Fletch is here. Oh, I know. Um, I'm, and he's just gonna. I'm, I know I'm getting up a lot. Yeah, I'm making no. this a horrible thing to watch for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> but look at the difference in the keyboard as well. Yeah, the like, good old touch. Color. Look at the, the touch. The, I'll put my fingers around the um, where the trackpad is to show you. How much key That is so that small. Fletch? None. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> it is a touch. That, like, dwarfs the the actual um, trackpad as well. That's insane. And it's on a smaller unit. It's got better travel. It's got better function keys. It's insane. It's insane. So, what happened was, people were such a fan of Surface that it grew into every aspect, right? And I think mm. now we have the most exciting Surface lineup that Microsoft has ever seen. Um, so, we've got the Surface Pro. We've got... Oh, I've got so many devices here next to me. <laughs> We've got the Surface Laptop, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm trying so hard to hold it up and not drop it as yeah. I go. Look at her, like, so thin, so, so much battery well. life. There's no visible screws that you can see. The Alcantara fabric, go, fabric goes seamlessly into the touch screen of this device. And it's like it's just amazing all of the care the precision yeah and like we're looking back five years ago and being like oh look at this like it's a bit naff um <laughs> but imagine what we're going to have five years from now right when those fans give their feedback and microsoft develops based on you know the insider preview the feedback you guys give when you get a new device uh, i think that that's going to be really yeah, powerful to shape absolutely. the future so of course we've got this the surface book 2 you know so if you're wanting something that's detachable if you're wanting that power if you're wanting that performance and now the newest the wee baby to the family the oh. surface go so i really think oh i haven't mentioned the surface studio but obviously i don't have the power um to just pick one up but we'll put in we'll put in a little something of the surface studio here um but the newest the latest the greatest the thinnest the lightest surface that microsoft have ever created the surface go and i think that that's incredible right not only is it light it's portable it's at that yeah. great price point um, you know, we know with Surface, it's always been a premium device, so it comes with that yeah. premium price tag. So having something that meets, you know, your entry level requirements, yeah. your everyday user at such an awesome price point, I think is really powerful to what yeah. what more can come with Surface. Absolutely, and and like like you say, just seeing that adaptation of it changing mm. from being a two in one, 
yeah. to being a far nicer two-in-one, to having yeah. a laptop form factor, because people loved Surface, but they wanted that traditional form yeah. factor. Yeah, and we to that saw that you know, originally with the Surface Book and that detachable yeah. nature, and then Surface Laptop. I remember, and you know, some of you guys might as well, um, just thinking and like having people yeah. tell me in stores and stuff. When will Microsoft release a tra traditional, traditional clamshell yeah. style? Like that's what people wanted. Absolutely. And we gave it to them, right? Yeah. Like Microsoft came to the party with that. Yeah. And I think that that's really cool. It's right? very cool. And seeing it in accessories as well. So, you know, um, we talked about the type cover already, but how yeah. mice have evolved, you know? Yeah. It's not just the same, oh, you've got an ergonomic one, you've got a matte one. Uh, yeah. Like you've got all everything that's yeah, traditional absolutely. still you've got arc mice and you've got multiple styles there yes. in the colors to colors, personalize your absolutely. thing it's very cool and that's also um something that we see in the world of um gaming and xbox as well right so absolutely um gaming is something that is natural for people to be a fan of which absolutely. i think everyone can agree absolutely. um we met an awesome guy just the yeah. other week who has a whole sleeve a tattoo sleeve of halo. Um, dedicated to halo which is super cool it's right so cool um and sorry to totally yeah. interrupt yeah. you oh um but, but being like a tattoo yeah. person myself like some people might look at that and be like oh that's a little bit yeah. like that's weird like it's just a game but it was amazing hearing him talk about it and all of his fond memories of yeah. Halo and playing with his friends and playing with his friends still now that they live yeah. overseas. Um, just being such a fan of something to like dedicate um, your body to it for life, I think is really, really cool. Yeah, um, I, I think so. And like, um, it's it's very cool how it gets even more niche in the gaming world, I think. It gets yeah. even um, into that, that fandom even further. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, you've got, you know, your generic consoles, your Xbox One S and in, in the yep. white colour you've got your One X in a black colour. Yep. But then you've got your One X Scorpio edition, which you have. Because yeah. you're, you're a huge fan, yeah, so she's a having beaut. that limited edition run, you've got uh, Gears of War yeah, um, that beautiful custom one console. console, you've got um, Xbox 360 of course did a great job, above yeah. us we've got the, the Halo edition one with some limited edition um, helmets that you can yeah. get as well, you see limited edition um, uh, games coming out where yeah. you can get statues and stuff like that. I've got it at home. I've got Far Cry 4. Yeah, and I've got some some controllers here. So I think that's a very cool way for mm. for things to go. So like oh, you've yeah. got your your Sea of Thieves. I know what a cool controller. I love that controller. It's so awesome. And like to me, one of the coolest things about these is there's little detail. Let's see if we can capture it on the camera. Um, where it's a bit hard to see, but there's actually pitting in the yeah. controller, which you can, can feel and touch. It's a little bit see-through, so yeah. it looks yeah. like the ocean, you know, as well as yeah. obviously having the Sea of Thieves symbol. Yeah. Um, you've got your Gears of War lim um, limited edition Elite controller, which you yeah. can totally customize. Yeah. And it's got the scratch marks in it. Yeah. You've got all your guns on the D-pad for you to easily mm. swap between them. Yeah. All that little detail. Um, when you start up the Gears of War limited edition console, it makes the sound of um, some of the locusts. Really? Which is really I cool. I didn't know that. That's um, very cool. Yeah, when you started up the, the um, R2-D2 Xbox 360 console, yeah. it made the R2-D2 noise. That is so awesome. it's very cool. See, once yeah. again, that level of care and precision. And I think that, as we've talked about, when you're a fan of something, hmm. your personal connection and your experience with that product absolutely changes, right? So much. So much. And the, the fact that there's enough fans to enable stuff like that to happen Absolutely. is so cool. And like anyone who we talk to when we go to conferences, we will always find someone where they're either a fan of Surface, they're a fan of um, mm. gaming, and we can have those really in-depth conversations and yeah. it all links to us having that thing in common, right? Absolutely, and I, I find that that is mm. the greatest privilege of what I do for a living. Um, is getting to have like those those full blown and great conversations yeah. um, with individuals and with groups as well and with you guys on the podcast and we've seen a lot of awesome comments um, from you guys in the last couple of weeks so always keep them coming um, we'd love to hear what you guys are a fan of as yeah. well I'm sure really that there hear. there are some interesting things out there I know when we did a round of trainings on Office yeah. talking about Quick Starter we asked some people about their hobbies yeah and we got some interesting things back. Um, a guy named Sam who really likes antiques 
um, all kinds of things, yeah. all kinds of things. But we'd love to hear from you guys what you are fans of and how that's kind of changed. Maybe the things you purchase or the things yeah. that you use in your day to day life and how that's, you know, changed your connection with that product or with that thing. Absolutely. So let us know in the comments below. And mm. until then, we will see you guys next week.